The problem we've got up on the board now is very similar to the problem that we did in the last video. It's just that we've got to do a little bit more work to figure out what the question is asking. It's not spelled out for us quite as nicely. So we're supposed to use an appropriate local linear approximation. That means a tangent line. And I just remind you that we can refer to that as a linearization. So we're sort of getting used to the vocabulary. Okay to estimate e to the point 002. So we're going to be estimating this. So we're viewing this as the y value on the graph of some function. What's different is we weren't explicitly told what's the function that we're finding the tangent line of and what's the x value of the point of tangency. So we've got to figure that out. We've got to say this is the y value on the graph of some function, what function should we be working with? And then the point of tangency, I want to choose a nearby point to whatever I'd be plugging in here, but where both the function and its derivative are easy to evaluate. Okay, Because obviously I could just choose any nearby point, but if I want to know what e to the point 002 is, Comparing it to e to the point 001, even though that's fairly nearby, isn't very helpful because I don't know that off the top of my head. Now I'm sort of thinking of this as this is something I would get if I plug in to e to the x. Seems like that's going to be a very reasonable choice for the function. And so this is what I would get if I plugged in 0 0.002 to the function f of x equals e to the x. Now, is there some x value close to 0 0.002 where this function is easy to evaluate? Yes, 0. Because I know that e to the 0 is just 1. If you give me other values to plug in, unless it's something like the natural log of 2 or the natural log of 3 where the exponential function just cancels it out or undoes it, uh, I probably need to rely on technology to get a decimal approximation. But this one, I can evaluate very easily without the aid of technology. So that, I think, is actually the hardest part of the problem, is just translating it into what functions tangent line are we finding and what's the point of tangency. So now I know I just need two things. I need a point and I need the slope. So for the point, we were given the, well, <laughs> we calculated, we figured the x value. Notice I'm not going to be using point 002 as my point because there I need to estimate this. I need to know the y value at the point of tangency. And I do. e to the 0 is just 1. So that's my f of 0. The slope, I know that's a two-step process. I need to first of all find f prime of x, and then I can plug in 0 to get the numeric value for that slope. So f prime of x is just e to the x. f prime of 0 is then e to the 0, which is 1. So our point is 0, 1, and our slope is 1. <laughs> now there, because my point happens to be the y-intercept, I can, if I want to, go right to slope-intercept form. So I could say y is 1x plus 1 slope of 1 plus 1. If I did the usual rise equals slope times run, I'm going to get the same thing. I would get y minus 1 equals 1 times x minus 0. And of course, if I simplify that, that becomes y equals x plus 1. <laughs> Again, though, I'm going to give that y value a name, L of x, to indicate that that's the y value on the tangent line as opposed to the y value on the actual curve. And I like to just have a picture to see what's going on. I can finish this problem without drawing a picture, but I'm going to understand the problem more if I draw myself a picture. So here was my function e to the x. And here is the point 0, 1. That's a point that's easy to work with, so we were able to calculate the tangent line here. So this is L of x 
and the curve is the graph of f of x. Okay. And we're being asked to estimate e to the 0.002. Now again, I'm going to completely exaggerate my scale. I'm going to put 0.002 way over here because you can see here the line and the curve are so close it's going to be hard to visually see the distinction between them. Okay. So e to the 0.002, that's the y value on the graph of the curve. So I can say that's f evaluated at 0.002. Okay. I do want to just confirm that the number that appears here actually is the number I would plug into this function. Okay. Now, I'm going to say that's close to the y value on the line. And recognizing that this should actually be drawn over here where they're much closer, it actually is very close. Okay. So we'll say that's approximately L of 0.002, and that would just be 0.002 plus 1, and that's 1.002. Okay. So all we're doing is saying that y value, it's difficult to calculate exactly. This y value is very easy to calculate exactly, and they're close, so we're going to calculate the easy one. 